Right, so now we are looking at uh, data properties and uh, the, the exercise uh, 46. So here we have to create a data property called uh, has calorific content value. So uh, we switch to data properties, this one, and then we add a sub uh, property. And uh, let me just copy this. So if we add it in. That's it. So that was uh, this step. Now um, let's go ahead and um, do the next step here. Um, so in this one, we have to create pizza individuals. Um, so uh, we ensure that entities tab and individuals tabs are selected. So we go ahead and uh, press the individuals tab. And uh, in here, uh, we have to add individual and uh, we have one that's called example margarita. Okay, so we click here and we add example margarita, okay? Um, so that's done, and in the individual description view, uh, type uh, margarita pizza. So we do that in the, um, add a type in the, in the individual's uh, description. Uh, we put a type and uh, it has to be a margarita. So the type of pizza is, uh, let me see. So this margarita, main pizza, margarita, there it is. Okay. Um, so again here it's going to do either by the class hierarchy key or the expression expression editor. So we have set that up already. In the property assertion view, add data property assertion. So property assertion view, add data property assertion. That's here, right? And. Uh, in here, we want to uh, we select um, has calorific content value, and um, um, so and it is set to integer. So. So we have an integer type here, integer, um, and we set the value. So we type in the value to six three, and OK, right? And create several more uh, example pizzas, um, individuals with different calories content. Uh, For example, Quattro Fumagio. So let's do that one. So and this is a cheese. cheesy pizza and uh, it's a property integer is seven two three <coughs> so let's do the um, Americana 
pizza. just call it American pizzas and uh, the type is oh, let's try to do this so Called, wasn't it? American. Um, American hot pizza. All right. Um, and um, let's set the data property to. Should we take? Uh, let's take vegetarian pizza. So create a and that's of type. Mm. There, vegetarian pizza, and the data property. Shall we set it below 200? So 185. Yeah, integer. <coughs> okay. Mm. Good. So we've done a, a, a few pizzas here, a few different types. Um, and uh, we go on to the next step. Uh, create uh, data type restrictions uh, to state that all pizzas have a cal calorific calorific value. Um, so um, we go to classes, so entities classes, and we select pizza. In the class description view, uh, so we need to bring up the data dialog. So we do subclass off and uh, we have the uh, data restriction creator and uh, we select the sum um, and has calorific content value um, and we set it as integer there integer And uh, click OK. Okay, so all pizzas they have calorific content value. Okay. So next one. Um, so we have a uh, create high calorie pizza. Um, so we have. The entity tab we select pizza, it's done. We create a subclass on the pizza called high calorie pizza. And uh, in the in the class description um, we're going to select subclass of and we're going to uh, open the expression editor. So here, subclass up, we're in the expression editor and we type, um, well, let's just copy this in sum and integer. So anything above 400. Um, We may have to use 
the prefix. So I use has prefix value sum and then the x as the integer greater than 400. Should that be correct? See, it uses as xsd as xsd in front of integer in the other places. So we do the same here. Okay, so um, then we have um, we create another one. Oh, uh, confirm con convert this class to um, a defined class, so uh, we can use uh, command D on Mac or Control D on PC. So that's done, and then we. Do the same for low calorie. So low calorie pizza. is less than 400 so remember the xsd colon right and again uh, command D. then uh, we have uh, low calorie and high calorie right is that it right so then we go for the next one uh, let's um, run the reasoner right so uh, in this version of uh, protege the reasoner is the classifier so uh, we go ahead and we start the reasoner and if we click on uh, high calorie pizza we get a couple of instances coming up low calorie and we have also a couple coming up right so that seems to work okay so let's uh um, make the hash calorie content value a data type property so we go into data type properties and uh, select hash calorie content um, in the hash type characteristic We click functional. Right. So test this. Test this work by creating a pizza individual that has two uh, carry values. This should cause the ontology to become inconsistent. So we'll do that in a moment. <coughs> 